Hi Leo viewers, um, last video I did, I think a lot of you were getting out of an abusive, toxic, manipulative friendship or relationship, um, and you're kind of trying to move on from that energy and, and start your life over and, and rebuild your life to what you want it to be. So let's see what I get today. I was just going through my cards and these popped out and I think these are for you. So this is, what it's saying is, it's regarding your love life, is just to have trust and faith. You know, if you need to leave an, an abusive situation and you haven't yet, or, you know, you're kind of maybe in this familiar situation where you're like, well, if I leave this person, am I ever going to find the right one for me? Like, is it too late? Um... But it's like the situation that you're in feels off to you, you know what I mean? It's like you're not really happy in it, and it's just kind of familiar and comfortable, but it's like there's either abuse there or it's just stagnant and it's just not going anywhere. Is this a situation where you're like, this part of you is like, I deserve a lot more than this, but then this other part of you is like afraid, and you're like, you know, what if this is it? What if I never find anybody else? What if no one ever else loves me? What if, you know, this person put me down and told me no one would ever want me or they made me feel no one would ever want me? What if it's true? And so your guides are asking you to do what's right for you and have trust and faith when it comes to your love life and not settle for somebody that's not treating you well or not being emotionally available with you. Um, and so I see leaving or traveling, you might be moving to a new place to get away from this person or this energy um, and start your life over. And then we have medicine man or woman um, and knighthood. So I kind of feel like this is you seeking out healing. You could be into this yourself and you could get on your own healing and spiritual path um, and have all your gifts start coming up once you're out of this stagnant, toxic energy that, you're, that this person has put you in. Um, but this is about seeking healing. This is about, um, you know, healing yourself and maybe possibly even being a healer too and, and developing those gifts and that spirituality, um, you know, getting on your true path. And we have knighthood, which is kind of like initiation. It's like you're coming into this new, strong, confident, powerful energy. It's really good. I'm actually really being led to say that you guys need peace and clarity right now too. That keeps coming up a lot where I'm like, you guys need, you guys are, there's like confusion or some type of chaos, some type of um, just something not making sense to you guys right now, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards and look and see what's going on with this situation. So for my Leo viewers, this could be an ex, could be a current partner, could be a new person coming in. Just show me what's going on with your, their love lives. What's going on? What's going on with the Leos right now? What is their person thinking, feeling? What's going on with that energy? What's going on with that energy right now? Person thinking, feeling, what are they wanting with you? These two cards popped out of the bottom, so let's take those. Okay. All right. So we have two of cups, the magician. So you are getting into your power. That's good. Seven of cups, knight of swords, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you're starting to focus on yourself more and less on this other person. But it's a good thing, you know, because that other person was um, not great, you know. And I'll pull some cards after this and see if we can get anyone, any info on anyone new coming in. So we got Two of Cups, Magician, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. So there's only one cup here. It's mostly like pentacles, like finances, abundance, material life, making your, your life what you want it to be. And then, um, you know, wands is passion. Actually, we do have a couple. We have two cups, too. We have two, two of cups and seven of cups. So it's a mix, but um, a lot of pentacles for sure. So a lot of focus on like finances, career, abundance, making your life what you want it to be, um, trying to find yourself again. So for to me, the two of cups is kind of about like, 
like it's like love it's it's your soulmate it's um you know this like this this harmonious union and with the magician it's kind of like you were trying to manifest that energy but see with the seven of cups here this is like it's like it didn't really manifest the way you wanted it to you know what i mean and so this is like she's like dreaming and there's it's kind of back and forth between dreaming and like being afraid it's like fantasies illusion illusions um you know just like being in your imagination and kind of needing to make a choice it's like you don't want to just keep wasting your life away wishing that this person would do this or that or wishing that they would be more supportive or more emotionally available or that they would be nicer to you or that they would be around more or, or this or that it's like you don't want to spend your life wishing and waiting anymore you know what i mean and you've been using this magician energy trying to get this person to to you know shape up and, and treat you well and you're starting to realize you know you can't you can't force them to treat you well. You can't force them to see what's right in front of their face. You can't force them to appreciate you um, as, as much as it sucks, you know? It's like they should just realize it. They should just know that you're beautiful and wonderful and amazing. And it's like they don't fully appreciate you. They're kind of taking it. Whoever this energy is, there could be a couple different energies. I feel like there might be a man around you that actually is appreciating you and loving you. Um, it's like a secret admirer type energy. I don't know if you're actually aware of this energy or not. It could be somebody that's like watching you on social media or something. So I do get the energy of somebody who's like, wow, this woman deserves the world. Why is she settling for this crap? Like, why does she, why is she insecure? Why does she think that she has to stay with this person? Or why does she think that she has to deal with this? Like, why does, like, he, he's aware, whoever this man is, he's aware of the bad relationships you've been in and he doesn't like it. And he wants more for you. So you do have somebody in your corner that's actually cheering you on and loving you and, and supporting you from afar. I feel like maybe maybe you're in a relationship and so he can't come in or maybe he just, maybe you kind of take him for granted or you don't see the connection there or something like that. It's some kind of secret admirer type energy. I'll look into it in a bit. Let me just, um, let me get through this part though first. So yeah, you're kind of using the magician to try to make this, this other person um, you know, again, two different energies here, two men, one that takes you for granted and treats you like shit and one that doesn't. Um, um, let's see. And yeah, with the magician here, it's like you were kind of dreaming and fantasizing and hoping that it would be different finally. And that if you did this or this, they would, they would do this and they just haven't, they just still are just doing what the fuck ever. Um, and, and so you're kind of starting to finally let go of that. And you're using the magician energy for yourself with the three of pentacles here. And so you're starting to put this energy to yourself. And you're kind of starting to make this, like, you see how this knight is. It's a very strong masculine power, which, which is kind of the energy that you're starting to get into. And you see how he's, like, making this, this he's got, like, this wolf spirit guide by him, too. And you see how he's making this, this vow, this promise that he's not going to, deal with that energy anymore that he's not going to forget his worth again that he's not going to get lost in a toxic relationship ever again this is you your energy which i feel you're you're the one making these promises to yourself um and so yeah he's he's you know this this energy is making these vows this could also be um the other person that i the the secret admirer energy that i got that's kind of making these vows like you know i'll never be like that other person I'm, i'll show you what you deserve um I'll be more supportive of you than these other people have been. I think it, it could go both ways. Um, but I think this is also just you making promises and vows to yourself that you won't get lost and stuck in that energy again. And with the Three of Pentacles, it's like you're building your skills and you're trying to manifest. It's just like creativity and, and art and career and abundance and... Um, you know, hobbies and all that kind of energy that you're like, you're focusing more on like the things that make you happy and the things that you want. And with the nine of pentacles, you know, you do have to, you have this reward after good work. This is um, like, this is like harvest energy. It's, it's like reaching this com like near completion, you know, nine of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles comes next. And that's, that's completion. It's like, you've worked hard um, and you're getting into your power. You're, you know, you've worked hard to get through these insecurities too. And to start attracting better people into your life. And you're finally getting to that point where you're 
you're not allowing the same toxic energy that you allowed before. You're not allowing the pe people to talk down to you the way you met it before. You're not allowing that same energy. You're, you're getting through this energy. Um, I'm trying to remember the last reading I did. You might have been more stuck in it, but I feel like you're coming out of it now more and you're coming into your power and you're realizing what you don't want and what you do want. And you're really setting boundaries for yourself and just you're just figuring out what you will and will not tolerate. So it's really beautiful because it's like you have this reward coming for all this this inner work that you're doing, all this, um, you know, developing this genuine self-confidence. It's like you're not just putting up a front and saying, oh, screw it, I'm fine. And, and having this like fake false sense of confidence, you're actually really um, starting to develop your hobbies and your career and like doing things that you love and are passionate about. So you have like this. You're like really getting to know yourself again, I feel, or like you're coming into this energy if you haven't already, you're it's coming in soon. Um, and it's like, that's like kind of like developing like a genuine self-confidence. You're like, no, I'm, I'm creative and I'm intelligent and I have these beautiful ideas and I'm, I'm passionate. And you're like, you're starting to love all these things about yourself that other people took for granted or other people were intimidated by. So it's really a beautiful reading. Um, God, what do I make up the four of pentacles? I'm trying to look at that. I'm like, hmm. Four of, see, four of pentacles can be like wealth and greed and like financial obsession kind of. But I also, whenever I see this card, when I see how she's looking, like, I mean, I, like when I look at how this woman is just kind of like bored, it's like she has all this abundance around her, but she's kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, I think it's, it's kind of like a warning. It's like, you know what, develop genuine self-confidence, but don't like don't it's it's hard not to hurt in your heart when you've just been hurt you know what i mean it's hard not to become really materialistic and really um you know like oh i'm the shit i'm gonna you know i'm blah 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 like it's it's hard it's like all ego sometimes when you get hurt it's it's hard not to get into that energy um and it's it's kind of hard i think it's like a warning too not to just like focus completely on finances and just like refuse to open your heart to love because, you know, you need a balance. You need love and you need money and you need your career and your hobbies. You need all of it. You need you need all of this energy. It's not one or the other. It's not love or career. It's like, you know, you need all of that. Um, or you'll get bored. You'll get, like, see, she's bored. You get bored if you don't have all of that. You need that. And, and you know, a lot of spiritual people would be like, oh, you, you need to get rid of your ego and you need to not have an ego. No, you can't do that. You're never going to get rid of your ego. But... You also want to keep your ego in check and not let it get out of control and not be self-destructive or not be um, suppressing your spirit and your soul and your true energy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, ego is necessary and soul and spirit and intuition. It's all necessary. Logic is necessary. Intuition is necessary. Emotion is necessary. It's all it all comes together to paint this beautiful picture of who you are. You know what I mean? So it's like you can't have one without the other. You do need your ego and you do need your spirit and your soul too. You know what I mean? Like you need to balance all those different aspects of yourself. Um, so I think it's just like a warning. Like, yes, you do need your ego, but you don't want it to get out of control. You don't want to just completely focus on finances and, and not open your heart. You know what I mean? Like you do want to focus on yourself a little bit. Like you want to... I mean, not a little bit, like you do want to focus on yourself um, and, you know, focus on your hobbies and careers. But again, just don't, don't harden your heart is what it's saying. Don't, don't get too lost in the material world. Make sure that you keep a balance of the material and the spiritual. Um, Cause I feel like after this energy, a lot of you might be kind of like, screw it. I'm never going to love again. I'm never, I'm just going to focus on money. I'm going to be a hustler. I'm going to be a bad bitch and fuck everybody. And it's like, you don't want to be too much in that energy. You know what I mean? Like focus on hobbies, career, but focus on your intuition and your spiritual path as well. And also, you know, open your heart to the right people. If somebody comes around, you know, make sure that you're aware of that opportunity and not too much in this energy where you're just like, oh, I'm a badass. Fuck everybody. You know, I mean, that's just, not that you're like that, but just that, that just, just what I was, I don't, I don't want to repeat myself too much. Just what I was saying about how, you know, if you get hurt, it's hard not to sometimes get into that very closed off energy. So there's a warning there from your guides to just not let that, that kind of energy take control. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to stay on that so long. Um, and this is like, this is right here, the nine of wands. It's, 
this is you being confident. It's like there's like a final, I mean, this is the final battle is finding yourself and, and finding this balance between spirit and ego and um, the material world and the spiritual world and getting on your spiritual path. Um, but staying grounded in the physical at the same time, it's like you're getting on that that path, and this is that that final battle that you're going through. And I think all your, a lot of your past battles have been about men, um, not all of them, of course, but I mean a lot of them. From the energy that I get from this reading, is that a lot of them were you fighting for somebody that just was not appreciating you the way they should have been, and now you're fighting for yourself. You're getting in this energy where you're fighting for yourself, and you're strong, and you have faith, and you know. It's going to be a process finding yourself again and reclaiming yourself and being the person that you want to be, but you're definitely doing it. And there might be some obstacles here and there, but nothing major. And when you're in this, this power, this beautiful, you know, like I see this woman, she looks like an, like an empress almost. She's just powerful and she's feminine and masculine and logical and emotional. And she's just, she's balanced and she's just a wonderful person. And you're, you're getting into this energy where you're being the person that you want to be. It's kind of like I'm hearing that quote from Rocket Man, where um, when um, El uh, the character that plays Elton John um, is talking to, to a musician, and he he tells him, "You got to kill the person you were born to be to be the person you want to be." And it's kind of like what I feel for you guys right now. It's like you might have had some abusive childhoods or something that made you get into this bad energy with men where you, you attracted the wrong type of guy, but you're like, or the wrong type of girl could go either way. Um, but you're, you're getting out of that energy now where you're, you're like, you know what? No, this is my life. I'm going to take control of my destiny. I'm going to make it what I want it to be. So yeah, it's really powerful. Um, let's look into this secret admirer just really quick because I do feel that energy. So I want to see what that's all about. <laughs> oh yeah. I was going to pull where are those cards at? Where are those speaking cards at? <laughs> okay, so I haven't used these for a while. I don't know. Some of them might be upside down, but I'm just going to put the intention in right now that I don't want to read any of them upside down. So if any spirit, if any comes out that upside down, I'm turning them over. All right, tell me about this secret admirer, please. Tell me about the secret admirer that is watching this person. I think they're, like, aware. I think they're actually kind of aware of this... Um, I don't know if it's like a, I mean, I guess it may be a pattern you have with like abusive or like emotionally unavailable people, but I also feel like may, or it could just be one relationship that they saw you in, or they were like aware of that relationship. I don't know if it's like a past or current relationship though. Um, I feel like it's going to be different for different people. So maybe it's a current relationship they're in. And so they know they can't come forward because you're with somebody. And for others, it's like a past relationship, but I kind of feel like they're they're thinking that, that you're that they're not your type. They're like, oh, I see the type of guy. She goes for the bad boys or whatever. Or he goes for the bad girls. Um, like they, they go for this, you know, this cer certain type of person. Like why would they, like I don't know if they would want me. I don't know if maybe I'm too stable and boring for them. I don't know. Or maybe I'm too, um, like maybe they would take me for granted or maybe they are taking me for granted. It's just like this fear that they have and they don't really know how to come forward and they're kind of shy about it. So it's like they're watching you though. They are looking on your social media and watching you. Um, all right. So tell me about the secret admirer. Tell me what, what their energy is like towards the Leos that are watching this. What is so for the secret admirer? What is, what is their energy like towards the Leo, towards the Leos that are that are watching this video, like, what do they want you to know about how they feel about you? Okay. Let's see what we got. The chess queen, trust and strategizing. So I'll read them all together in just a minute. Let me just put them out. The Sun Dancers, Joyful Activity, Celebration of Life, Abundance, The Cosmos, Creativity, and Vastness. And see, you're coming into this beautiful energy yourself. It's about them, but it's also about you. It's like you're coming into this new energy where you're not, you're leaving the past behind and you're not going to want the same type of people that you used to go for. You're not going to want that same energy in your life anymore. Like you're coming into this new energy. It's really great. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service, self, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action, 
the spiral dancer, Sictia's root, perception, the dragon's duel, inner conflict, morality, conscious choice, which kind of very similar energy to what I got before for you. Um, where you know you're fighting yourself and it is a battle to some degree you know you're you're reclaiming yourself and you're you're learning to find this balance and it's kind of like a trial and error process sometimes you're going to be overly logical sometimes you're going to be overly emotional sometimes you're going to be just confused but you're figuring out who you want to be and maybe you're a really logical person maybe you're a really emotional person it's up to you to be what you want to be to be however you want to be however you know it's not making the world not um making yourself to fit the world it's it's you know creating your own world you know being how you want to be regardless of how people feel about it you know what i mean like be just be yourself you know angelic help and miraculous aid the winged wise ones lady of the ramir reflection and non-judgment all right let's see So I feel like, I kind of feel like, the, I feel like this is mostly about you, and I'm going to pull some more cards after this, because I think this was just a message that wanted to come out for you guys. Um, it's like you're trusting yourself more, you're more confident, and you're strategizing, and you're in this, look, this is like joyful activity, this is abundance, this is creativity, like spirituality, getting on your spiritual path, and again, just being your true self, like be as weird and emotional and spiritual and whatever else as as you want to be, you know what I mean? Like you're learning to, to, you're learning to just balance the physical and the spiritual world. Um, but I kind of feel like looking at this, I kind of feel like this is the energy you're going to be getting into with this other person, this secret admirer. It's like they're, you see this couple dancing. It's like, is that a fairy couple? I think that is a fairy couple. Oh no, wait, I thought that was a couple. That's actually just a woman dancing by herself. Okay. Um, but this like creativity and playfulness and youth youthfulness and, and joy and abundance and spirituality and like this just this very happy, um, free spirited kind of energy you're getting into it with this other person. I feel like they might be opening you up to that and you guys might be like going on cute little dates and having fun together. Um, and, you know, you're getting into this again, like this is your spiritual path, like this selflessness. It's it's like you're. Your, your empathy is coming back. Your, um, yeah. And you're looking at things. This is, again, look at this dancer. This is, like, creative, raw, pure passion um, that you're getting into. And, you know, again, it's it's a struggle figuring out who you are, who you want to be in the world, um, balancing yourself, reclaiming yourself, but you're doing it. You know, there might be some little conflict here and there, but you're getting through it. You're, you're finding yourself, and you have um, angelic help. It seems you've got aid, you've got guidance, you've got these these beings that are, are helping you through this energy. Um, and you're going to get to a point where, you know, Lady of the Mirror, self-reflection uh, and non-judgment, you're going to get to the point where you look in the mirror and you, you see who you want to be. You see your true self. You see just this, this free-spirited um, woman that you want to be, basically. You're getting into that. Okay, so I want to get some cards on the Secret Admirer. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with that. <laughs> All right, so tell me about Secret Admirer, and I put the intention of not reading these cards upside down. Secret Admirer. What does he want? Him or her, either way, it could go either way, whatever they identify as. Um, what do they want you to know about how they feel about you? What do they want to say about that? <laughs> Playful, yeah, again, there it's just like a this is a person that's gonna bring out your more playful side. It's like they're more they're not as like a you know the bad boy badass type. They're more like the sweet, maybe even nerdy type. Um and then movement, that's a really good card. They want to move forward. And you are with the grove here. Could be a cat person. 
There's the kitty right there. You want to move forward. The horse wants to move forward towards the cat. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really, it's good energy. It's really, yeah, they might be coming forward with a message for you. They might confess their feelings. Um, let's see. But that... See, there's that, that, um, let's see, that energy there. There's this little bit of a mixed energy there, though, because there might be another person or another in, in energy kind of influencing this. Um, so we got playful, movement, grove, message, deceit, focus, rigid, obedience, and hope. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's that same energy that I was getting before. Um, it's a little bit more clear now, though, with this this reading right here. But it's like you're either in a relationship where you're not being treated well, and so this other person is like, oh, I don't think I'm their type. I don't know if they would want me. Like, maybe they have a certain type that they like. Um, or it's past energy where it's like, in the past, you've gone for a certain type of guy, or maybe they like watched you date one of their friends or somebody that they knew, or they saw you in a relationship. Like maybe you guys were all hanging out and you guys were friends, or they they saw you on social media and saw your relationship post or something like that. It was just that kind of energy where they like felt jealous of this other guy, and they're like, "Oh yeah, that's not me at all. Like I'm nothing like that guy. Why would she like me or girl? You know, again, however it resonates, it could be it um you know totally could be that. You know, this girl was jealous and she was seeing, you know, her man or, or the man that she wanted with this other girl either right now or in the past. And she's like, oh, yeah, I can't really like she's prettier than me or oh, I can't match up to that. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. Um, so I think for a couple of you, it might be that situation. I think for most of you, it probably is um, a man that was like looking at you and and thinking you know, like, yeah, why would she want me? So again, this person is playful. They're sweet. They're going to um, get you more in touch with that side of yourself. And they're moving forward. Like, they're moving forward at this this steady pace. And this, it's a horse. It's a very, um, it's just a very grounded creature. You see how, how the horse is just, and it's a white horse, too. It's a really beautiful card. But... They're just, they're moving forward towards you. Um, and it's like, you're their safe space, I feel. And they're your safe space. Because it's like, this is the growth. See, there's like a kitty on a bench and it's in a garden. So it's kind of like, maybe you have a garden or they have a garden. I think that for most part, it just means that um, it's like they want to kind of retreat with you. It's like they want this like alone time. They want these, these um, deep talks with you. They want... Um, I mean, it's like peace and clarity and healing, you know what I mean? It's a garden. It's like this beautiful place. And it's like they want to go there and sit on that bench with you and just be alone with you and not always have other people be around. You know, I feel like for some of you, it's like all your friends are always around them or always around you. It's like there's just like they want this like alone time with you and they haven't been able to get that alone time with you. And that would make sense if it is a secret admirer, like if it is somebody in your friend group. Um... Because it's like you're always, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I know you guys can't hang out now probably because of everything that's going on. But it's like in the past, it's like, yeah, you're always in this group. And so it's like you, they can't like, I almost see like a crowd of people and it's like they kind of notice you and they're all shy. But it's like they don't feel confident talking to you because there's so many other people around. Um, and again, that could just be like the astral energy. But I feel like for the most part, I think it's like the physical world energy where it's like they were actually like... For, like, for quite a few of you, I think they were in your group of friends, um, or they knew, or they were around. I don't know if they were actually, like, in that friend group, or it's, like, just they would kind of be hanging out, and your friends would be around, or people would be around, and I don't know. Whatever it is, however the energy plays out for you specifically, it's, like, they just felt that they couldn't get you alone for a second. They felt like they, they just really wanted to just have, like, they wanted to be open about how they felt. They wanted to talk to you. They wanted to get to know you better. They wanted to get, they wanted to show you who they are, but they felt like they never got the chance because it was just, they're very, I think they're kind of introverted and maybe shy a little bit, maybe like kind of sweet and nerdy type. Um, but they're cute. I feel like it's a cute person for sure. Like they have a, they have good energy. Um, 
but it's like they wanted, yeah, they just wanted this alone time with you. They wanted to show you who they are. And it's like, they never got the chance to do that. They wanted to, to retreat with you, but they're going to come in with this message. I feel, or they're trying to work up the confidence. Again, whenever I get this card, I always tell people it's like, this might be what they intend on doing. It's not always what they end up doing though. You know what I mean? It's like, astrally telepathically like they want to come in with this message i don't know it, it depends on each person if they will or not but there's this like deceit from like your old karmic or like this old situation this old energy it's like this see they're like oh i'm not this person like this this like i don't know how to be this person but they're trying to focus on just sending in that message and being confident and they're like you know what i'm gonna screw who they've been with, screw this, screw that. Like who cares if they have all these people around them? Who cares what they post on social media? Whatever. I'm going to focus and I'm going to try to send this message and, and move forward and, um, and just let them know how I feel so I can get clarity either way. But it's like rigid. It's like they're, they're kind of, it's stagnant too. You know what I mean? It's like they want to do it. But then like at the same time, there's like, they're looking over this wall and like, they're like, Oh, can I, like, would she, would she or he really open up to me? Would they really want me? Like, they're kind of looking over this wall and testing the waters and they're afraid that you're, you're blind and that you're not seeing what's in front of you with them and that you're obedient to your past and that you're obedient to this other person or other energy, but they have hope and they, they're still, they're still holding space in their heart for you. They still want to talk to you. Um, they still do have these feelings for you. Um, so yeah, I hope that resonated with you guys. And I love hearing from all of you, so, you know, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.